For this project, our team is going to be installing synthetic turf bocce court surfacing at a country club in the Midwest. In this case, a local contractor had already excavated the land, built the concrete bases, and landscaped the area. While the space was being prepped and the bases were being constructed, the synthetic turf for the courts was being made at our facility in Dalton, Georgia. As these processes neared completion, the team began to prep for the turf installation. Step 1. Preparing for installation. For these two courts, our turf manufacturing facility delivered two large 15-foot by 60-foot rolls of turf weighing approximately 225 pounds each, four pallets of drainage ultra-base panels, pressure-treated nailer boards, 41 bags of infill, and 11 bags of top dressing in 50-pound bags. So for starters, we needed to ensure that we had equipment on hand to move these materials into position. Next, our team assembled the tools for the job. While this installation is over a concrete base, an acceptable commonly used alternative would be a prepared compacted stone base. Step 2. Clean the base. To ensure we have a very smooth and clean surface, we started by sweeping out the concrete bases and removing any dust or debris. Step 3. Lay out, cut, and attach the nailer boards. Our team lays out the pressure-treated nailer boards along the edge of the court. They will cut these to size and then affix them to the concrete using 1 quarter inch by 2 and a quarter inch concrete anchors. To speed installation, our team uses one drill to drill the pilot holes and one to install the concrete anchors. Step 4. Lay out, cut and assemble the ultra-base drainage panels. With the pressure-treated nailer boards assembled and affixed to the concrete base, our team moved on to assembling the ultra-base drainage and support panels. This installation is over a concrete base, but base panels work great with a traditional compacted stone base too. We start by laying out all of the panels and locking them into place. This installation utilized the Champion panel from UltraBase. This three-quarter inch tall panel not only provides drainage channels, but they also help ensure that the surface remains incredibly flat while giving the court an added level of superior drainage. After laying out the 30 by 30 inch panels, our team makes its measurements and cuts the panels to create a base layer that fits nicely into the space. Step 5. Clean the base. Once the ultra base is installed, our team grabbed the blower and cleaned the court again to get it prepared for the laying of the turf. You can see that the installed base provides the extremely flat surface needed for the bocce balls to roll straight and true, while the perforated holes will facilitate drainage. Step 6. Position the turf and roll into place. With the ultra base panels in place, our team moves the turf into position, a job made a bit easier with a turf gripper tool. They remove the protective packaging and then roll the turf over the court. Step 7. Cut and secure turf to one side. With the turf in place, our team folds over one end and uses an edge trimmer tool to cut off the edge of the turf. This tool features a very sharp blade that cuts through the turf and backing with relative ease, so be sure to wear protective gloves. The scrap is removed and then the team uses the gripper tools to pull the turf into place. Once it is roughly in place, the team smooths out the turf and then uses a knee kicker to ensure a wrinkle-free installation. As with many concrete bases, the walls of the court are not perfectly squared, so our team used a blade to precision cut the turf for a more exact fit. With the cuts complete, our team secures the turf to the nailer boards using the staple gun and one-inch long, narrow-crowned, galvanized steel staples. Step 8. Measure, cut, and secure remaining edges. Cutting and securing the first edge of the turf was relatively risk-free, as there is still excess turf if one makes a mistake. Making the cuts for the rest of the edges requires a bit more precision. To ensure accurate cuts, our team first cuts the turf to leave a few inches of excess on each end. They push the turf up against the edge and then make vertical cuts about every six inches to form small rectangles that will be easier to cut. The corners typically require a fair amount of patience and precision. With the vertical cuts in place, our team folds back over the turf 
and cuts off the rectangles, leaving a nice, clean edge to butt up against the concrete border. The team then secures the remaining turf with the staple gun. Step 9. Adding the first layer of infill. With the turf properly secured to the nailer boards, our team is now ready to apply the first layer of infill. To add it at the desired rate, they start by cutting the tines off the spreader so the bottom slots are wide open. Then they proceed to fill about 75% of the turf with the engineered round grain sand. It not only supports the individual blades of grass so that they remain upright, it provides a level of cushioning that maintains ball impact so the bocce balls will roll true and the court will remain consistently smooth over time. Additionally, the infill provides ballast to the turf system, which significantly minimizes the expansion and contraction of the turf that can lead to wrinkling. Step 10. Power broom the infill into the turf. Once the infill is dropped onto the turf, our team uses a power broom to help work it into the blades of grass. To ensure consistent coverage, our team will often apply another layer of this initial infill and will work it in manually with a push broom. Step 11. Add and broom in the second layer of infill. With the first level of infill applied, our team then prepares to add a level of envirofill with microban infill. This green-colored infill not only enhances the appearance of the court by giving it a more natural look, but it has a number of other benefits as well. It's an environmentally friendly material that contains no harmful toxins and does not absorb water. In fact, it includes a microbial agent that actually prevents mold and bacteria from growing. Plus, it requires virtually no maintenance, does not hold heat, and is resistant to cold temperatures. This infill is applied and broomed in using the same process as the first layer, although the team will also hand pour this infill into the edges of the court and blend it in with a broom. Step 12. Enjoy your low-maintenance bocce courts. With the installation complete, you can now look forward to years of enjoyment with little to no maintenance. Aside from the periodic removal of leaves and debris, the only real maintenance would be a periodic top dressing or brooming, annually at most. Many clubs, parks, and other businesses will look to create bocce leagues to maximize the return on their investment and ensure that their members, residents, or guests get the most value out of these new courts. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more about bocce courts or any of our recreational solutions, please visit therecreationalgroup.com.